we're at the end of the mix. I'm going to take it out of record ready and I'm going to switch from input back to repro. I'm also going to turn up my repro volume a little bit here if I want to hear it coming out of this speaker. I'm at 415. I'm going to locate back to the start, so I'm going to press locate. And now it's located back to the place where we reset the zero earlier. Now I'm going to press play and make sure we have something. When you're doing your project for your mix project, at this point you'll stop before you cut tape and you will go over to the patch bay and patch from the output of the two track to the input of Pro Tools channels one and two. You'll play this back the entire mix into Pro Tools as a safety copy. That covers you. If you have a problem with editing the tape, you can always re-record it back onto tape from Pro Tools. But for now, we're going to go back and edit this together. We need to put in a piece of white leader tape at the beginning of the song and the end of the song. So let's find the beginning. Turn it up a little bit. Okay, the, that acoustic guitar is what I want. I'm going to press the edit button and you see that the roller and the pinch roller moved forward to put the tape up against the heads. Okay, you might hear some little tick 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 noises. Those are some pick noises and headphone bleed and we're going to get rid of those. And that's the initial note. I'm scrubbing the tape back and forth with it in edit mode until as I listen, I'm looking or listening, I'm coming and listening to the repro head. So right now, the leading edge of the acoustic guitar is just to this side of the middle of the repro head. So at this point, I'm going to take a white china marker and I'm going to make a vertical mark in the middle of the head. Once I've done that, I'm going to press stop, rewind it back a hair, and just check it. So that way, as I look, I'll put it in edit mode again. Yep, you can barely hear that little whoop. That's the beginning of the guitar, right where that line is. Press stop. Now if I cut right on top of that line, I think I'll actually probably cut a little bit of that guitar. I don't want to do that. So I'm going to put it, the white line, which represents the beginning of the guitar, just to the left of my cut. I'm going to take a piece of, uh, I'm going to take my razor blade, and I'm going to put my fingers on just to hold it. I'm going to put that in there. I'm going to take my bifocals off so I don't cut myself. And I'm going to slice that off. The right hand side of the cut contains the count off, contains the stick clicks, the little pick ch -ch 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 that he was doing at the beginning. This side's garbage. We don't need this anymore, so we're going to get rid of it. This is the fun part. You just get to take it and throw it on the floor and throw it in the trash later. Now I'm going to take this tape, this leader tape, and I want four widths of the tape machine.
and then I'm going to pull this out of the edit block. I'm going to put my leader tape in the edit block. I'm going to go ahead and cut it. Make sure it's in the bottom of that groove. Okay. Now I'm going to go to the back side of the leader tape. I'm going to lay it down in that groove and I'm going to cut on that angle trash again fun to throw on the floor now I'm going to take this and I'm going to push it right up against what I don't want is it to overlap I want it to go right up against each other we're going to stick it together with a piece of splicing tape. That's plenty long enough. And I'm going to lay it on the edge of the razor and use the razor to apply it. I'm going to lay it along the groove, put my finger on it, and then I'm going to peel off the razor. I'm going to take a Q-tip and gently press on there to get any air bubbles out. Okay. I'm going to take this and wind it back. Now we're ready to lit to check the front part of this. Again, I'm threading it same way. Now I'm going to press play, turn my volume down. Sounds like we did it. Let's check it again. And that's right on the mark. So we have all of the top of that mix. Um, of course, doing this the first couple of times yourself is a little bit harrowing. Be careful of the fingers. But what your goal is is that when the leader crosses this, you really don't want any more than an inch or so before the song starts. If you have too much time before the song starts, you'll have a lot of tape hiss and other junk at the beginning. Make sure and try to get it as close as possible without cutting off the top. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and roll to the end. The end looked like it was around 4, 4, 4, 15. I'm going to rock the tape as it gets close, which means I'm not going to press stop. I'm going to press rewind and slow it down that way. Pass it up a little bit, come back. I should be somewhere at the end of the song. past the end, so let me, there's the end of it. I want to find the end of my fade. It's somewhere around there. I'm going to play a little bit of that again. When I fade out, what I'm listening for is where the fade, where the audio disappears into the noise floor or disappears into the tape hiss. Just give it a good smack. Should stop that. Okay. That's past the end of the fade. This is a little bit easier because you're not marking where something's starting. I'm going to go ahead and put it in edit though. That'll push the tape up against the repro head. I'm going to make my mark in the middle of the repro on the tape that's placed in the middle of the repro head. Press stop to come out of edit mode. 
pull the reels in together to unload the tape. And again, I'm going to put it just to the left of where I'm going to cut. Chop. This is my song. This is blank tape. So on your class reel, leave that. Now let's put another four widths in. Okay. I'm going to put that in there and chop. I'm going to take my end of my song, put it back in the edit block, and then I'm going to join those up together. Remember, you're just putting them up against each other. You don't want them to overlap. Holding it gently in place with a finger while I peel that. Okay, and that's that part. I'm going to wind this onto the reel because my next task, because this is the first mix on this class reel, now I have to attach this back to my supply so the next person coming will have something to attach to. This has already been cut once, but I believe in making a good clean cut each time. So we're going to go ahead and recut that. And then I'm going to lay the supply in, the blank tape. Put that, nudge those right up next to each other. I'm going to take my splicing tape, lay it right in the middle, hold it in place, peel that away, take that, that gets the air bubbles out, lift that out. Now let's check the end of our fade. There it was. So the uh, song ended before the before I hit the splice. That's what you want. There's my mix. Now I'm done with this portion of it. I'm going to turn my volume off here. Press fast forward, and we're going to store this tape out back into the class project reel. <laughs>